Hi everyone. Today we are going to do a tutorial on solving quadratic congruences of the type ax square plus bx plus c is congruent to 0 mod of p where p is some prime integer. Here we would be solving such congruences by three different methods. So let's look at what is the first method. Given any congruence of the type a x square plus b x plus c is congruent to 0 mod of p, where p is some prime integer, what we do in this method is we divide the congruence by a on both the sides of the congruence and that gives us x square plus b by a x plus c by a is congruent to 0 mod of p. Now we add b square by 4a square on both the sides and complete the whole square. We shift the term c by a on the right hand side. That gives us x plus b by 2a whole square is congruent to b square minus 4ac upon a 4a square modulus b. If we take the LCM here, we will get 2ax plus b by 4a square and that gets cancelled on both the sides. So we get 2ax plus b whole square is congruent to b square minus 4ac mod of p. If we take 2ax plus b as y, we will get y square is congruent to b square minus 4ac modulus p. Now, because we have a quadratic congruence here of the form y square is congruent to some constant times modulus p, it will have two solutions. Let us say the two solutions are y0. If one solution is y0, naturally the other solution will be p minus y0. So this gives rise to two different cases. We've seen here, we've taken 2x plus b as y. So now this gives us the first case is 2ax plus b is congruent to the first solution y0 modulus p and the other one is 2ax plus b is congruent to p minus mod, uh, y0 modulus p. We solve these two for the x values and that gives us the two solutions of the congruence one. Let's look at one example. If we are asked to solve the congruence 2x square plus 3x minus 13 is congruent to 0 mod of 11. We see here 2 is a, 3 is a b and minus 13 is c and the modulus p which is prime is 11. So we will form 2x plus b whole square is congruent to b square minus 4ac modulus p. We will put all these values, we will get 4a, 4x plus 3 whole square is congruent to 9 plus 4 into 2 into minus 13, which is nothing but 113, modulus 11. So, this is the congruence which we have. If we take 4x plus 3 as y, our congruence will reduce to y square is congruent to 113, mod of 11. We have to check whether such a congruence is solvable or not. You know that this will be solvable if the Legendre symbol 113 by 11 is 1. Or in other words, if 113 is a quadratic residue. So, we see that this Legendre symbol value is 1. We replace 113 by its residue mod 11 and that gives us 3. 3 by 11 is 1. So, the congruence is solvable. Now, one solution of the congruence is 5 and if 5 is one solution, the other solution will be 11 minus 5 which is 6. So, we can solve this easily. Here we have given the solutions as 5 and 6. Now, this gives us two y values but we have to find x. So, what shall we do? We will go back to our congruence 2x plus b is congruent to y0 mod 11. In the first case, we take our y0 value to be 5. We got two values of y0. One was 5, one was 6. We start with the first value. So, what we do in this, we will put y0 as 5 and we will solve for x. 
you can see that 4x plus 3 is congruent to 5 mod 11 gives us, if we take the 3 on the other side, it is 2 mod of 11. We can easily cancel 2 on both the sides because 2 is relatively prime to 11. And this gives us 2x is congruent to 1 mod 11. The solution is obvious, minus 5 or 6. So we have got the first value of x. In the second case, y0 is 6. We had got two values of y0. So now we take 4x plus 3 is congruent to 6 mod 11. And if we take the 3 on the other side, this is what we get. The solution we can see is 9 or minus 2. So our quadratic congruence had two solutions, 6 and 9. If we ever have a doubt, we can substitute 6 and 9 in our original congruence, which was the quadratic congruence which was given to us. And you will see that this congruence is satisfied. Now, moving on to the next method. In this method, what we do, we have the congruence given to us. ax square plus bx plus c is congruent to 0 mod of p. We know p is an odd prime and p does not divide a. So, then this congruence has a solution if and only if b square minus 4ac has a square root modulus p. And if that is True, then the solution is x is congruent to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a modulus of p. We are already familiar with this term. This is nothing but what we get when we solve quadratic equations. So it is not difficult to remember that. Now let's solve the same problem which we had done uh, and we had solved using method 1. We will solve the same problem using our second method. So we are given this 2x square plus 3x minus 13 is congruent to 0 mod 11. Now b value we know is 3. a is 2 and c is minus 13. We have substituted all values here. What we get is minus 3 plus minus root of 113 by 4 modulus 11. Root of 113 does not give us an integer value. So what we do, we will see what is 113 congruent to. Here, 113 we know is congruent to 25, which is already a square of some integer. This suits us. So what we will do, we will replace 113 by 25. And this will give us x is congruent to minus 3 plus minus 5 by 4. We get two values, either x is congruent to minus 2 or half modulus 11. Now, this is already an integer, minus 2. So, let's take this case. x is congruent to half mod 11. Take the 2 on the left hand side, cross multiply, we'll get 2x is congruent to 1 mod of 11. We see one solution is x is equal to 6. You must have noticed 113 is also congruent to 36 mod 11. So in now if we take root of 36, the two solutions which we will get will be x is congruent to minus 3 plus minus root 36 upon 4. And this gives us the values as minus 9 by 4 or 3 by 4. So let us take x is congruent to 3 by 4 mod 11. We'll take the 4 on the left hand side. If we cross multiply, we get 4x is congruent to 3 mod 11. And this gives us x is minus 2. Same answer we had got earlier also. If you go back, you'll see we got the x value as minus 2. Now, let us take this case. x is congruent to minus 9 by 4. You take the 4 on the left hand side. This gives us x is 6. So now the two solutions are x is 9 and x is 6. This is what we had got from on using a first method. Let's look at the last method. In this method, we use the inverses. Now, if the congruence which is given to us is capital AX square plus BX plus C is congruent to 0 mod of P, we First, find the inverse of A modulus P. Let us say it is A bar. Then we will multiply the whole congruence 
and the other side also of the congruence by a bar, the inverse. This gives us a a bar x square plus a bar bx plus a bar c is congruent to 0 modulus p. We know that a a bar will be congruent to 1 mod p, so we have uh, got a 1 value here. And this, this is a bar bx, a bar c congruent to 0 mod p. If we take this value as small b and this as small c, we are back to the form which we uh, can easily solve. What we will do, we will complete the whole square. x plus b by 2 whole square is congruent to b by 2 whole square minus c. Here, there might be a case where b is odd. Then it won't be divisible by 2. Then what we do, we change our b by p plus b. And then it becomes even because b is odd and p is already an odd um, prime integer. So, we, this will become even and it will be divisible by 2 on both the sides. Now, once we get that, we can solve. So, let us see. Again, we take the same example and we will apply a third method. Let us take the inverse of 2. Inverse of 2 mod 11, we know will be 6. So, we multiply the whole congruence, on, in fact, on both the sides of the congruence by 6. This gives us 6 into 2x square plus 6 into 3x minus 13 into 6 and that will be congruent to 0 mod 11. This will reduce to 1 as 12 is congruent to 1 mod 11. 6 into 3 is 18 which is congruent to 7 mod 11 so we have written 7. And 13 into 6 is congruent to 1 mod 11 so we have a 1 here. Let us Write it in the form which we just saw x plus b by 2 is congruent to b by 2 whole square minus c. So here 7 was odd. 7 is odd in fact. So what do we do? We will add a prime to that. So 7 plus 11 by 2 whole square will be congruent to 7 plus 11 by 2 whole square and minus c. C was 1, so minus 1, so it becomes plus 1. Let us look at what happens to the congruence. It becomes x plus 9 whole square is congruent to 82 mod of 11. 82 also we have replaced by its residue. So this is residue mod 11. So this becomes x plus 9 whole square is congruent to 5 mod 11, which is nothing but y square plus 5 mod 11. We have taken x plus 9 as y. One solution we can see is 4 of this congruence. If 1 is 4, the other will be 11 minus 4, which is 7. Which gives us two congruences. One is x plus 9 is congruent to first solution 4 mod 11. This gives us x is either 6 or minus 5. And the other one gives us x plus 9 is congruent to 7. This is our y naught. Uh, the two y naught values are 4 and 7. So once we take 4 and the other, in the other case, we take it to be 7. These two when solved, these are very easy to solve. We can get uh, the two values and we can see that the solution is 6 and 9. So the same question was solved using three different methods and we got the same answer. Thank you for watching.